coming straight from there. This is our invitation to pride ourselves in supporting all these freedoms, human rights. oppressions, woes and pains, by your sons in servile chains, we will drain our dearest veins, but they shall be free. Lay the proud usurpers low, tyrants fall in every foe, liberties in every blow, let us do or die. We don't have violence in our parliament, get out of the way. Murderers. Murderers! Execute political prisoners. They execute peaceful protests. Of the same demonstration which we had attended holding today in Paris. In the first week in December, there have been 10 executions, 8 death sentences have been passed out. I say to Europe's leaders, forget appeasement. Back the Iranian people. Back the main opposition force who are the only people capable of replacing the Mullah's evil regime. Give support to the courageous brothers and sisters in Ashraf. Back the PMOI. Thank you. Together with these thousands of parliamentarians and many of them are in this room today. We have fought for that justice and we will continue to fight for that justice until the day we can see Mrs. Rajavi and the NCRI and the PMOI restoring freedom, restoring democracy, restoring human rights, women's rights and the abolition of the death penalty, the abolition of nuclear weapons in a free Iran. <laughs> be a massacre if all 3,400 are forcibly moved and we will all of us collectively have the responsibility of blood on our hands. Is that what Europe wants? Why will the Commission not take action? Why is the United Nations not in there already? who have stood out in the cold, who have stood out in the heat in summertime, who have always turned up to rally for this cause. Hundreds, if not thousands of them, are standing out in Schumann, have been waiting patiently. Please, all of you, come and join us in this great victory rally today. And let's go forward from here for the rest of the battle, because freedom for the people of Iran is our next goal. Thank you.
Minister Nouri al-Maliki alone controls the army, security and intelligence services and such power has been abused repeatedly, most clearly in the massacre of unarmed civilians in Ashraf on the 8th of April. Lady Ashton, can I thank you for all the work you have done on Ashraf, but please support the resettlement plan proposed by this parliament. Time is running out and we must not risk another Srebrenica. Thank you very much, President. Could I also thank all of the members who have signed written declaration 75 on Camp Ashraf. This sends a very powerful message to the Iraqi authorities to lift the inhuman siege that they have applied against the 3,400 innocent people in Camp Ashraf over recent months. of a full independent inquiry into what happened on the 8th of April. Well, you know, I say to the foreign ministers who are meeting in Brussels here tomorrow, and they have Ashraf on the agenda. Wake up! Show that you've got a bit of spine! Stand up against this brutal dictatorship in Iran, which now controls the Iraqi government. that Camp Liberty is ready for the displacement of the 3,300 people from Ashraf. But in fact, there is no freedom of movement. They will not be allowed to take their personal possessions. They will be surrounded by thousands of military and police. Uh, you know, this is a, not a refugee camp. This is fundamentally a prison. Please, can you s insist that the Iraqi government upholds the, uh, their obligations and don't allow them to get away with this kind of uh, unorthodox treatment.